welcome everybody to this video which is all about photographing ducks in flight. Now if you've tried this yourself you've probably realised just how difficult it can actually be and there's a number of reasons for that which I'm going to talk about in this video and the first thing is simply the speed of them. But ducks are actually amongst one of the fastest flying birds of all. In straight level flight they are incredibly quick. I think they've been clocked at doing 70, 75 miles per hour. As well as that I do find they're pretty nippy in terms of changing direction. That definitely makes it more difficult for you to track the bird and get nice sharp photos so I think you really want to maximise your technique as much as you can when you're trying to photograph ducks in flight. Try to use your best technique as much as possible. Uh, make sure your hand is under the lens. Try not to grip the camera too firmly. And if you're panning, you really want to try and move from your waist. So try and resist the temptation just to kind of move your hands as you're tracking, which I sometimes, I don't get it right, I have to remind myself. But just try and keep everything sort of stable, your upper body, and just move from your waist. Now, the other thing about them is that I do find they're quite flappy. So the wings, if you watch them in flight a lot of the time, the wings do flap very fast as well. So that means you may need to use a faster shutter speed to stop that movement. And of course you might get the ducks flying in flocks, that's not uncommon at all. In which case, how do you know which bird to focus on? Uh, can you get all the ducks in sharp focus? And what happens if they kind of change position as they're moving? In this video, I am holding a 300 millimeter lens, but most of the ducks I'm photographing are actually with the big 500 millimeters and sometimes with an extender. Now in terms of autofocus area for tracking the ducks, is there a perfect solution? And this is something that I've been thinking about and trying myself in practice uh, with the ducks. Now a lot of cameras these days will have maybe a, a zone autofocus or perhaps whole area autofocus, those are on Canon, I'm not as familiar with the other makes. And those should do a good job of tracking the bird in flight as it goes across the frame. So it should actually lock onto the subject. Now I like the uh, large zone AF on my Canon R6. I use that a lot for birds in flight. It seems to go for the head. If it doesn't do that, then it goes for the body. So it just tracks the bird really well. Now that works absolutely fine if it's just one single duck, but what if it's a flock of ducks? That's where I'm kind of having more problems. So in that situation, that kind of zone autofocus may not be the best option or it might be more difficult to use. Uh, that's because if you get a flock that can be very fast as well, a flock of ducks comes up, you're just gonna swing the camera up and focus as best you can. If you're using a kind of subject detection tracking autofocus, then it can be difficult to choose one duck. Photographing those ducks in flocks is definitely more problematic because they can actually move position so as they're flying through you might find they kind of shift position uh, from where they were originally it will happen with other birds such as geese for example the bird that maybe was at the beginning of the flock may drop back to the back and vice versa and that can make it difficult for the camera to focus where you want it to this is definitely a work in progress at the moment. I certainly don't have all the answers. So I'll try and update you at a later point as I work on this technique. So one thing you could try doing is actually switching to a single focus point so kind of like the older style DSLR autofocus. So it could be a small single focus point or the spot focus. The disadvantage with that of course is that you'll have to place that focus point over the duck that you want and keep it on that duck as best you can the entire time. But the benefit is at least you know that that focus point isn't gonna suddenly jump somewhere else and somewhere else where you don't want it to. And in theory, you might even be able to move that focus point as those ducks change position in the flock. Now that's very difficult to do. It's gonna be more difficult if your camera is very big. Uh, it's gonna be more difficult the heavier your gear is as well. So the other difficulty in terms of sharpness is to do with depth of field. So that's where you wanna get all of those ducks or at least most of those ducks in reasonably sharp focus. Now for birds in flight photography, a lot of the time we're using wide apertures because it really helps to keep those shutter speeds up. Um, and you might get lucky if you take a lot of shots, you might find that most of the ducks in the flock are reasonably sharp. Um, but what I suggest is just closing the aperture down. So this is what I've been doing recently myself. 
uh, if I'm photographing a, a flock or that's what I'm going for then I'm just closing the aperture down I've actually been closing it down to about f10 uh, when I've been using the the big 500 millimeter lens and that's been working pretty well uh, particularly with the gadwall they're a bird that seem to fly around in flocks quite often so closing down to f10 has just enabled me regardless of which duck I've chosen to focus on it's just enabled me to get more depth of field so just a few extra tips for ducks in flight which I think are really going to help you uh, the first one is to try and get them lower down in some way if you can so if you can get them kind of closer to landing or takeoff that's generally going to be better I think not only are you at the similar level to the bird which almost always looks better but it's also better for the light and, and the second one is to look out for ducks doing circuits this is quite common I found with various ducks particularly in the breeding season where they often seem to do circuits of what I'm sure is their territory maybe you've got uh, two or three ducks on the water as well and they kind of fly around looking at one another so if you see that it can be just a really good opportunity the likelihood is that they're probably going to do it again at some point it may do a full circle and it gives you more time to kind of prepare and a better chance of getting those shots and the last one is to look out for calling this is something i'm trying to think of myself much more when ducks are in flight again maybe doing that kind of display in the breeding season there's a good chance they're going to do some calling so look out for that and sometimes it just means taking more pictures to increase your chances it might happen fairly quickly so if you can take a lot of pictures you've got a much greater chance of success that's where your really fast frame rates and also electronic shutter can come in now I definitely think one of the most challenging parts of birds in flight photography is knowing how to expose when you're shooting against the sky and if you'd like some tips on that then click this video up here thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time